Hey guys, welcome to the week here at the Geek Course. And today we're gonna do the crab ride into the Baron Bolo. So we're gonna start off here sitting down in a double uh, guard pool scenario. And we're just gonna go for a very simple entry into the crab ride here today. So also trying to cover some of the basic principles uh, when I'm gonna go from uh, into the crab ride here. So what I'm doing here is I'm hooking this leg behind the first leg and then in front of his hips on the opposite leg here, okay? Now, what you will notice is I can already start kind of changing the angle. So I'm looking towards his, uh, his right hip here, okay? So as soon as I can see his hip, I start to look for any grip on his pants. You could also grab the belt, but the pants is gonna give you much more to pull with. And a lot of the times I can use both hands in the beginning, but eventually I'm gonna give it to my left hand here. So I can start moving my right arm over to his knee here, okay? So once I have the knee, I can start looking to bring this far leg behind his knee on this side, okay? And this will give me the crab hooks that I'm looking for and the, that I'm gonna be using to get his back, okay? So pretty simple, leg comes behind, looking for a grip on his pants. Now, if I have the opportunity, I will just go straight away here. But a lot of the times you will see this knee is gonna be turning in towards you as this will make it harder for me to get this leg inside. So what you will do, you will push, open it up and create the space that you need, okay? Now, once we're here, I'm gonna go up on my shoulder and up on my forehead. And uh, right now, Lasse is just gonna take away his hands, so he's not gonna be posting, but we will solve that on another scenario here. So I'm coming up into this position, okay? Watch how I'm old, so pushing with my legs so that his knee comes closer to his head, right? A lot of the times we have a tendency to do this. Now, there's a time and place that you wanna be inverted, but the problem here is that he's free to push his legs down and he's actually pretty strong in this position. Whereas if I'm tripoding with my shoulder and my forehead here, and also the knee on the far side here, I can stay and I can also push in towards him which makes it easier for me to expose his back here, okay? So what I'm doing here, I'm just pushing his legs over to the other side. Now I can start looking for any grip behind his neck here, okay? If he's still turning in towards me, this will do. I can grab the far collar, which is good enough, but preferably I'm gonna be looking for the, his back or the back of his collar here, okay? Now, once I have this grip, you'll see I'm grabbing his pants here and I'm grabbing the back of his neck here. And now I'm gonna turn my head to the other side so I can start rolling over the shoulder. When I'm rolling over the shoulder, I'm constantly thinking of pushing this leg here, the upper leg towards his head or slightly off angle towards uh, his side here. So now once I'm going here, you'll see he's rolling on top of my arm, okay? Now I'm gonna keep this hook here and my knee is basically pinching in towards his belly, okay? Now I'm stepping onto the back of his knee here with this other leg, and I can start looking for like a twister hook kind of scenario. But make sure that you're not just going for the twister hook here as then he might rib all, but keep this foot behind his knee and push it to get the back. So from the beginning, we're gonna go in here, looking for the grip. I can push his knee up and I've entered the position. Today, he let himself go flat. So now it's easy for me to push his legs over to the other side. Looking for the back of his neck, turn my head over. And now rolling, bring my foot behind his knee, push it. And there we have the back. Oh my God. And we have it. One more. <laughs> Thank you guys for today. See you guys next time. And please like and subscribe. Boss.